Hello future millionaires, this is Aztec and this is the CSC. We're going to do another quick swap tutorial. In the last one, I basically showed you guys how to move assets from L1 to L2. I broke it down and I also kind of give you a general overview of quick swap. But today, we're going to talk about the swap function and I'm actually going to go through it entirely. And then also, I'm going to show you how to mine uh, using LP tokens to acquire quick on quick swap. So first, let's go ahead and just show you how to use a swap function. It's very easy. Uh, we're on the front page of QuickSwap. We're going to go ahead and select what we want to exchange. So I'm going to uh, exchange a little ETH. And I want uh, one quick. So I'm going to put one here. It's going to tell me exactly how much uh, estimated ETH it will cost to swap for one quick. And you can see here that uh, this is the maximum that will be sold. This is the uh, price impact. Uh, and this is the liquidity provider fee that I'll be paying out. And it will be uh, going from ETH, Rapmatic, USDC to Quick. I'm going to go ahead and click swap. I'm going to confirm my swap. I'll see my drop down over here from MetaMask. And you'll see the gas fee. It's extremely affordable, of course, because we're using the Matic mainnet. The transaction has been submitted. And I'll wait just a little longer for the confirmation to come through for a quick swap. And also the Brave Browser. So here my Brave Browser shows that the transaction was confirmed. I can view on Etherscan if I like. So basically, we know that I've acquired one quick because right up here in the top right hand corner, it shows that I have one quick now. And also, the uh, uh, quick swap uh, DEX has shown me that my swap has gone through. And I can actually click here to view it on the Block Explorer. All right, now let's go ahead and show everyone how to provide liquidity. Uh, providing liquidity is necessary to uh, basically acquire the LP tokens or liquidity provider tokens so that you can receive quick. And you can see right here, it actually explains it. It says quick swap liquidity mining. Deposit your liquidity provider tokens to receive quick, the quick swap protocol governance token. So we're going to join a pool and you have to click here on this quick uh, tab to actually see the existing pools that you can um, basically provide liquidity to to get LP tokens to then uh, you know basically mine so that you can acquire quick so uh, one function is of course providing liquidity to the pool and uh, before we actually go into uh, mining I'll actually just take a step back and show you here that when you provide liquidity it says liquidity providers earn 0.3 fees on all trades proportional to their share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time, and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. So if you're just going to provide liquidity, you're only going to get 0.3 fee on the trades proportional to the share of the pool. And uh, in this case, we're not only going to provide liquidity, but we're going to acquire the LP token so that we can basically mine quick. So we'll deposit ETH and USDC. And you can see here that right away says step one, get quick V2 liquidity tokens. So this is just saying you're going to go ahead and uh, provide liquidity so you can get LP tokens. It says quick V2 LP tokens are required. Once you've added liquidity to the ETH USDC pool, you can stake your liquidity tokens on this page. So let's add. And we're going to do 0.5 ETH. Right away, the... Uh, algorithm will go ahead and show you exactly how much USDC you'll need to match. And down here, you'll see that uh, it is now highlighted and you can supply it. But before that, you see right above it, you see the prices and the pool share that you will get for supplying this liquidity. Down here, there's another little box that just is uh, explaining by adding liquidity, you'll earn 0.3%, you know, and, and all that again. But we already know that, so let's just go ahead and supply. You'll see exactly what you're supplying. Uh, you know, the ETH deposited, the USDC deposited, the rate, and the share of the pool. Again, it's basically just reiterating everything. 
we're going to go ahead and confirm that. Again, it's just pulling down the drop down from MetaMask. And here it shows, you know, it's extremely affordable gas fee. You know, this is less than a penny, guys. You know, on Ethereum, you'd probably pay, you know, dollars. Uh, during the height of DeFi, you know, there you might have paid like five to, you know, ten dollars. Here shows that our transaction submitted. Look how fast that went through, guys. We already have a, a confirmation from Brave Browser, and we're just waiting. Oh, it already popped up. This is from Quick Swap, and it's showing that we provided liquidity. Okay, so we've deposited our ETH USDC, and now we want to take the LP tokens and start mining. So we're going to go ahead and deposit right here under the uh, Quick tab, and right away it shows you, you know, basically the total deposited pool tokens, and this is the pool rate. So this is the uh, amount of Quick that's split between the pool daily. And right now we have not submitted any of our Quick V2 ETH USDC, which is basically where it's saying, you know, we haven't submitted it or zero. We haven't submitted any LP tokens. So what we want to do is just click Deposit Quick V2 LP tokens. Here, basically, you'll just click Max or whatever amount you want to submit. I want to click Max because I want to get the most out of the liquidity that I've provided. Right away, we get the Approve button. You do have to approve it first. MetaMask will give you the ability to sign the request. Click Sign. And now Deposit is highlighted. We can click Deposit. It's very simple. You have your um, drop down from MetaMask again. And the um, gas fee showing here is super affordable. Confirm. Transaction was submitted. And we're just going to wait for the transaction to go through. Generally, you know, this can take, uh, you know, a couple seconds. It's already basically gone through. Now, it does show right up here in the top right. It, said it was showing pending. Now it says that it's deposited. This is quick swap, basically acknowledging that we've deposited the LP tokens. And you can see that you can actually view it on the Block Explorer if you wanted to. We're going to click X here. All right. So now that we've uh, submitted our LP tokens, you can see that your uh, liquidity deposits are here and this is uh, referring to your LP tokens and this now is going to show you your quick accruing um, you know basically by the second so it is showing an estimation of the amount of quick that I would receive based on you know this being my test wallet the amount of uh, liquidity that I provided and my LP tokens that I provided so already you know I've uh, Acquired 0 0.001 quick, and this would actually start going up during the day. And oh, it already is. That's how fast I'm already making, uh, you know, quick tokens. Okay, so basically we've gone over the swap function. We've also shown you how to provide liquidity, and then acquire LP tokens so that you can stake them to mine quick and you could see that I had already started mining quick and in this case I want to go over this little timer so basically what this is explaining is that there is going to be a new mining period within this amount of time when this is up now what's important to note is that when a new mining period happens the developers at this time can change the participating pools that are um, able to mine quick. In the future, you'll be able to um, vote for the participating pools. And right now, we just have you know these six pools available. And in the future, you know that would be mainly up to the community. But since we know that this is changing, I do want to point out that some of these pools may change, and if they do change what you would uh, start receiving is just the fees that are being traded within that pool you would no longer be receiving your um, quick tokens so if you wanted to get the most out of liquidity that is uh, provided on quick swap you might want to swap out or manage 
your uh, existing pool. So in this case, you would click Manage. And of course, this is just showing everything that we kind of went over earlier. You know, you have your total deposited, the amount of quick that is uh, being split between the pool, in this case, between the ETH and USDC liquidity mining pool. And these are your LP tokens. This is the amount of quick that you have already uh, mined. And in this case, we're going to click withdraw because we're going to pretend that this pool is no longer, you know, one of the um, existing uh, supported pools. So we'll click withdraw and claim. And of course, you know, you're going to see your gas fee, you'd confirm transaction submitted withdrew quick v2 so it's withdrawing your lp tokens that you got for providing liquidity and then i also claimed the quick that i um you know already acquired i can view the transaction on the block explorer but we're going to click x we already see the confirmation here and now what that's left us with is just the liquidity so we basically pulled the lp tokens from mining quick and now if we went over to the pool section here you would just see your liquidity that's provided and again you know when you're providing liquidity and you're simply just providing liquidity you're not uh, acquired you have not acquired LP tokens and staked them you're only receiving the 0.3 fees on all trades proportional to the share of the pool so in this case um, we would pretend that you know USDC ETH is no longer over here a participating pool and I want to move this to another pool so to do that what I would do is manage I would remove I'll say max I'll prove this sign the transaction click remove confirm it confirm the gas fee transaction submitted we'll just wait for this to go through of course it's blazingly fast because we're on the Matic network and basically if we go back to the pool section we're no longer uh, providing liquidity and if I wanted to then take you know ETH and the USDC swap it for something else so that I can uh, attend a new uh, mining pool, you know, provide liquidity to another uh, pool and then start uh, staking again by acquiring LP tokens from that pool, you know, you could go ahead and do that. But essentially, at this point, what I've shown you is how to use a swap function, how to provide liquidity, how to acquire LP tokens and stake them so that you can start mining quick, and then I showed you how to withdraw from uh, the participating pool or a pool that is no longer participating possibly in the future and then uh, you know pull that liquidity out so that you can start uh, you know either swapping again with what you have pulled out to um, start participating in a new pool again you know I'm only showing you that because in the case that this uh, timer runs out and new pools or participating pools have been initiated you, know, you might want to do that if you want to get the most out of the liquidity that you're providing anyways guys I hope this is helpful uh, you know basically again you know this is showing that you're here using the Matic network this is your wallet this little cog here shows your slippage and um, I like to have mine either at 0.5 or 1 percent depending on you know what I'm swapping and um, this is your wallet so hope this is helpful and i hope you have a great rest of the day never give up on the future of money take it easy guys